everyone. Today we are going to try out our Daniel Smith's watercolor ground on some shoes and see how that works out. I have these shoes here for my daughter and she decided she wanted me to paint Stitch on it. I did a couple different mock-ups and she loves Lilo and Stitch um, with the ducks, that scene. So that's what we're gonna do today. I just got these shoes at Hobby Lobby, in case you were wondering. They had some in all different sizes. Before I get started on these, I'm going to show you some that I did for a test run. I will show you what I kind of did and painted, and these are shoes that I just wear out in the garden. And I've been trying them out. I even wore them in some snow. You can see there was a tiny bit of bleeding, but some of that actually happened when I was painting it. And as you can see, it's not too bad. I mean, these shoes are old, so the crease is there. Um, lost a little bit of paint. Let's see if we can get that better. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I probably would maybe do another coat of my sealer, and I will leave the link to all of the materials and supplies that I used for these in the description below. Here is what I used to seal. So it's a UV archival in gloss. You can get it in matte as well. They did not have any in matte when I went to get this. So I just grabbed this one, and it's not too glossy, so it hasn't been a problem. So it protects acrylic watercolor, oil pastels, watercolor pencil, and oils. I will link this in the description below. Before we can sketch it out on our shoes, I need to paint the watercolor ground. On our shoes. I think if you're painting on shoes you definitely need three coats of the sealer to make sure your design stays protected. I mean I walked through snow in those shoes and there was a tiny bit of bleeding like I said but really not that much considering how much snow I walked in. In the end I was very happy with the results. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm not really going to go into the lines too much over here. I can't take off these laces. So I'm not going to try and paint around these because they're just like an elastic lace. I won't be able to paint them on these particular shoes. But I am doing a pair for each of my girls. I'm going to do a video also showing the watercolor ground on both glass and wood. What would you guys like me to paint on those objects? I didn't ask for the shoes just because I was leaving those decisions up for my children who are going to be wearing the shoes. I have a nice coat on both of these and we'll be back when they're dry. Now that they're dry, we're gonna start drawing our sketch onto the watercolor ground. Here I'm going to start painting with my watercolors and my thought is to just go in and paint it like I would any other watercolor and see how it reacts to it. This technique actually works very well for the shoes. It really does react as if you were painting on a piece of paper except for it has more of a shape to it. Um, and 
so it doesn't lay flat. That can be a little bit of an issue at times, just because I have to keep holding the shoe the whole time. But other than that, it worked beautifully. I'm very happy with the outcome of the shoes. I think they look great, and my daughter just loved them. I also did allow for each shoe to dry and I would switch off between the two shoes so that I could layer them just like I would on a watercolor on paper. And this helped me build my values and get the depth that I needed. Here you can see I didn't wait long enough and it did bleed a little bit into the sky, but it was easy to actually clean it up. I started off very light with more water and less pigment and just added more pigment as I continued to layer the colors on my shoes. And as you can see here, I'm able to get some really nice darks for Stitch's nose, eyes, and the outlines. And last of all, I decided to use some Micron pens to add a little bit more line quality to my stitch. Because of the texture that was on the shoes and when I painted it on, it made getting really nice lines difficult in watercolors. are my second pair of shoes. For some reason it wasn't recording when I first started painting, so here you'll get to see me do the line drawing of the Mustangs. I did horses because my second daughter loves everything to do with horses and even told me that if she can't have a horse, then someday she's going to marry a cowboy. <laughs> oh, she is so cute, isn't she? So for the background, I just did a wash, a mingled wash, like I did in the first one. And then I'm just taking some thick paint in my watercolors to create the line art. And then I will go in with some metallics. Here I'm spraying some of my shoes with the archival spray. I keep about a foot away from the shoes when I'm spraying them because I don't want to blast them really close. I give them three coats and let them dry overnight. And now on to my third pair of shoes. I did the same things for these shoes as I did the first pair. I created a design that worked for my oldest daughter. She wanted some turtles and flowers from Hawaii as that is one of her favorite places and she loves turtles. 
I chose colors that my daughter loves, which are aquas and light pinks and blues. As I was going through my first layer, I decided I didn't want it just straight aqua across. I wanted to have a gradation from a very yellow, warm aqua to more of a cool blue aqua. So for the second layer, I tried out this technique and it worked out beautifully. And doing the same for the second shoe. My oldest daughter wanted the same design on both shoes, so it is not different like I did with the stitch shoes. I think the most difficult part was probably just reversing the design, doing it facing right on one shoe and doing it facing left on the second shoe. I decided to use yellow and pink hues in the flowers to contrast the aqua background. Of the two pairs of shoes, I would have to say these ones are my favorite. While I love stitch, I love the simple elegance and beauty of these shoes. I think they would go well with anything in my daughter's wardrobe, and they're very fun and unique. I also used the Micron pen to outline the flowers and the turtle in these shoes for the same reasons. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. Which pair of shoes was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this and check out my video over here of me testing out Aquaboard. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!